he's a brilliant writer. He has a brilliant mind. It's it's hard to keep up with him. It's hard to keep up with the pace for which his mind works. He pitches like a movie a day, from yeah. what I understand. Oh, a movie an hour. Um, I think <laughs> I think the one thing about Max is that he has so many ideas that we will be filming something and he will go, oh, it should be this. And you go, we didn't plan for that. So now we can't do that. And it's a shame because they're, like, some t- like, they're all great ideas, but he will always come up with more. Like He is an ideas generator. That's what he does. And, and he, unfortunately, because of the confines of filming, he sometimes has to be reined in, which is a shame. How does he handle getting reined in? Yeah, really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really well. Really, really happy about it. <laughs> yeah, he sometimes forgets the process of making a TV show. Yeah. Um, it's just the individual processes, be it from the writing to the scaling down to the shooting and then the editing and then what happens in the edit. And it's amazing sometimes for us because we did it once and that was the first time for him, essentially. And we've done it again and it's still like he, things surprise him that shouldn't <laughs> surprise him. Um, Do you have an example of that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Should I say the... Th- it's not that big of a deal. He, he sees an edit, you know, and the first edit of, an, of anything, be it a film or, you know, an episode of TV, is not great. It, n- it, it will never be great because it's... There's heart sink in your oh, yeah, stomach. You watch it and you go, we failed. It makes you sick. Away. And it makes him sick the second time around because... But what's funny about that is he, he should know that the next edit with the music and the changes, it's going to get better and it'll eventually be something that you love. He doesn't know that yet. But it's great. <laughs> it's fine. The thing about him is that he's also constantly enthusiastic. And he's an awesome presence to have around on set. He, like he said, he's filled with so many ideas. And it's, ins- it's inspiring to be around him. And it's inspiring to work in his sandbox. We are essentially characters of his creation in a world of his creation. And it's really fun and really ridiculous and crazy. And he, you know, he'll tease us with things that he's thinking about for the third season that call back to the first season. Mm. We're like, oh, man, let's do that. It's, it's just constantly inspiring and fun. Yeah, that sounds good. Call me when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's just yeah, always it's, fun to hear ideas from him. But it's yeah. interesting because um, we, he pitched us season two um, in the back of a Sprinter van coming back from San Diego Comic-Con when we were f- in the middle of filming season one. And everything that he pitched for season two is in the show. Yep. Everything. And I was like, oh, that's never going to happen. It's too ambitious. Like year Everything is in there. Shooting it. Yeah. And, and he's now pitched us season three. And I'm like, great. Because I feel like whatever he pitches is probably going to end up mm-hmm. happening if we get a third season. 